Okay, Wildcats, today we're looking at Wednesday, March 28th, Solving Exponential and Logarithmic Equations, Part 1, on page 68. If you would, update your table of contents. All right, now your table of contents are updated. Let's take a look at the notes. All right, Solving Exponential and Logarithmic Equations on page 68. All right. So, solving exponential equation methods. Method one, graphing. Method two, same base. Method three, take the log of both sides. Solving logarithmic equation methods. Method one, make an exponential. Method two, use log properties. All right, if you wouldn't, update your notes. All right, now your notes are updated. Let's take a look at the examples. All right, example one. Solve the equation using the same base. Okay, same base. All right, so since the bases are the same, okay, they're both 2, so we know that the exponents are equal. So we have x squared equals 7x plus 12. All right. So now we're going to subtract 7x and 12 from both sides. So we have x squared minus 7x minus 12 equals 0. Let's zoom in a little bit. That's probably a little bit better. All right. So now we're going to try to factor. So we look at all the combinations that make negative 12. So we know 1 times negative 12, 2 times negative 6, 3 times negative 4, and 4 times negative 3. Okay, none of those combinations give you negative 7, so we know it's not factorable, so we're going to use a quadratic formula. So we have x equals negative negative 7 is a positive 7, plus or minus the square root of negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 12. divided by 2 times 1 and so then if when we simplify that we have x equals positive 7 plus or minus the square root of 97 divided by 2. All right, so now let's take a look at example 2. Now, example 2, in order to have the same bases, we need to convert the 8 so that we have 2 to the power. So we know 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So then that's 3x equals 2x plus 6. Now, the bases are not the same, so we know the exponents are equal. So we have 3x equals 1x plus 6. We subtract 1x from both sides. We have 2x equals 6. Divide both sides by 2x equals 3. Now, for one, I'm just going to say right for right now, we're going to ignore the check part. We're just going to focus on just the solve. All right, example 3. Okay, so technically, for example, 3, these both have a 
log base 4, so the bases are the same, so we know that these are equal. So we have x squared equals negative 7x plus 4. So we're going to solve by moving everything to one side. So we're going to add 7x and subtract 4. So you have x squared plus 7x minus 4 equal to 0. So again, we want to find out if it's factorable, so we're going to find all the factors of negative 4. So negative 1 times 4, negative 2 times 2, and negative 4 times 1. None of those combinations give you positive 7, so we're going to use the quadratic formula. Okay, so x equals negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4. 4 times 1 times negative 4 divided by 2 times 1 and come up here and so when we simplify that we have x equals negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 65 divided by 2. All right, so now let's take a look at example four. Now it says solve the equation by taking the log, okay? So to do that, here, since that's three, we're gonna do log base three of three to the two x, but remember, if you do what you do to one side, you have to do the other. So we have to do log base 3 of 25 to both sides. Now, the reason we do that is because we know from our notes that log base 3 of 3 is 1, and so we're left with 2x. So 2x equals log base 3 of 25. And then our last step is we're going to divide both sides by 2. So x equals log base 3 of 25 divided by 2, which equals All right, so now let's take a look at example five. So we have the exponent space is five, so we're going to do the log base five of both sides. Remember, what you do to one side, you have to do the other, so we have to do log base five to the other side. Okay, this becomes one, so then you're left with x minus 2 equals log base 5 of 200. Our last step is we add 2 to both sides, so x equals log base 5 of 200 plus 2, and that equals 5.292. All right, now let's take a look at example six. All right, solve 
the equation by using log properties. Log properties. And again, we're not going to worry about checking. All right. So example six, using log properties. Okay. All right, so we know that since we're subtracting, that becomes division. Now, if there's not a base, we assume it's 10. So this is going to be log base 10 of 45x divided by 3 equals 1. All right, so now we have so we know that log of B a equals x and we know from our notes that b to the x equals a so we're going to use that to convert this so we can say that b is 10 so that's 10 to the x, which is 1, so 10 to the 1, equals the a value of 45x divided by 3. So then we cross multiply. So then that's 10 times 3 is 30. 1 times 45x is 45x. Divide 45 by both sides. And then we reduce. So x equals 30 divided by 45 reduces to be 2 thirds. All right, so first off, additions mean that we multiply. So, and again, base is 10. So that's log base 10 of x times x plus 9 equals 1. And again, we know that these can be written the same. So here, so base is 10. So that's 10 to the x, which is 1. So 10 to the 1 is equal to the a value, which is x times x plus 9, which let's go ahead and multiply. So x times x is x squared. x times 9 is 9x. Let's subtract 10 from both sides. So we have x squared plus 9x minus 10 equals 0. At this point, we're going to factor. So parentheses, parentheses. So x, x. So then we want to find all the combinations to make negative 10. So we have negative 1 times 10, negative 2 times 5, and 5 times negative 2. So this combination gives us a positive 9. So we have x minus 1, x plus 10. 
So we set them equal to zero. So x minus one equal to zero. X plus 10 equal to zero. So then you get x equals one and x equals negative 10. Now, we're not going to check because I don't think there's enough space on here to write through, but I would recommend going back and making sure none of these are extraneous solutions, especially number seven. That would be something you need to go back and plug these back in to make sure neither one of these is extraneous. All right, example eight. Solve the equation by making an exponential. Okay, so we can use the same kind of logic here this can become that okay so we know that that's b to the x so that'd be 4 to the 7 is equivalent to the a value which is x squared all right so let's go ahead and just write them here so we don't have to keep sodden paper up so we know that log base b of a equals x, and we know that b to the x power equals a. So then we take the square root of both sides. Okay, so we know that that's plus or minus the square root of 4 sevenths equals x, so we know that x is equal to plus or minus 128. All right, same thing here. So that'd be 3 to the second power equals x minus 5. And then we just add 5 to both sides. We get 3 squared plus 5 equals x. So x equals 14. And again, make sure you're going back and making sure that neither of these answers are extraneous. All right, example 10. So that's 2 to the 4 equals 3x plus 5. So then we subtract both sides. You get 2 to the 4th minus 5 equals 3x. Divide by 3. So then x equals 11 thirds. Alright, so I'm gonna leave, I would recommend at this point, if you haven't been going through all along, but go back and plug each number in to make sure that none of the answers are extraneous solutions. Okay? And so with that, you have two options. If you understood all the examples, start working on the assignment. If you didn't, some questions, just know I can go over the examples, and I'll start going over the assignment in class tomorrow. So with that, have a wonderful Wildcat.